simple ball control exercise. Two, three, four. Is that easier or harder? Harder. Yeah. Our coaches have to achieve a minimum standard, and we have a an Ofsted style assessment sheet which every instructor has to pass annually and they have to pass to a level of 70% or above which is Ofsted level good. We also have several of our instructors have gone on to the next level which is 90% or above which in Ofsted terms is an outstanding delivery of a lesson and it is that educational system that we have combined with the coaching qualifications that our staff have that make us different to everybody else. Right, this time I might add in a new colour. So if I shout blue, you're going to pick your ball up, you're going to throw it in the air and catch it in your hands like a goalie. You're going to catch it and bring it close to your chest just like a goalie, okay? So that's going to be blue. So everyone listen, so we've got red, amber, green and now blue. Okay, so blue. Premier Sport do is fantastic in, in attempting to assure the quality of coaching that goes into schools. Um, obviously there's, there's quite a varied quality of, of provision for physical education within primary schools and I think the, the initiatives that Premier Sport are taking, not just to provide that coaching but to assure the quality of it, uh, is a, a major step forward. And let's stay in the centre third of this course. Like when I shout stop, you put the ball down on the floor. We've got three Dilly No Mates without a ball, and you have to run and try and pick up a different ball. I think the thing that stands us out from the crowd is the effort and time we put into training our staff um, and the relationships we build with the schools rather than just trying to go in, make a quick buck, and then not worry about it. We put time, care, and passion into, into what we do and I think that's the key that people do this because we're passionate about it. There have been huge strides in the benefit of Premier Sport to schools mainly because of the introduction of a new educational advisor who is a former head teacher of 21 years. For most of us mortals we do need that structured plan and in level two we'll be looking at what we need, the component parts of that lesson plan. His input onto all of the staff at Premier Sport has meant we now have a really good product with an educational focus. This is designed really to prepare them to understand what makes for good lessons, to look at the characteristics of good teaching and to aspire for excellence. And what we cover during the course of the day is those aspects of uh, the characteristics of good teachers and good lessons. And then we move on to the essential features of planning those sessions in the level two component. So that by the end of the day, the objective would be that everybody who's attended this seminar would be able to go forth with confidence to deliver PPA sessions in schools across the country at a level which would be deemed by Ofsted standards as at least good and in many cases we find excellent. This time we mark right in hand again as low as we can bounce it. Okay, so moving as low as you can bounce it. Off we go. As an experienced PE teacher myself I've seen uh, the decline in standards of children's levels of fitness over the years that I've been uh, a teacher and uh, I think that anything, any initiative that's going to highlight it and hopefully do something about it must be a good thing for the children. I think the coaches here are doing a really good job because they are making it fun and the children are enjoying what they're doing which means that they're getting the right attitude about sport which hopefully encourages them to then carry it on as they become older and I think that's the important thing is that the children then make the choice to do sport rather than as teachers having to sort of make them do it. It's really important that children, whatever their ability, engage in, in, in a fun way. Because if they're engaged in fun and they're enjoying it, there's more chance that they're going to stay and they're going to keep doing sports and probably try other ones. Uh, that is the whole sort of foundation of our, of our work. That's the found, we're the foundation of the pyramid. We're about mass participation. We're not about elite. We're not about working with kids who are uh, already sporty, although we do do that. Um, what we are about is engaging every child of all abilities into a sport that maybe they've never even tried before.